Madison police are releasing more information about the graffiti that damaged dozens of properties across the west side over the weekend. Only News 3 talked with police chief Mike Koval about the crimes. Leah Lynchai joins us with his thoughts tonight. Chief Koval says the number of homes hit this weekend is nearing 40 and still counting, while several of those taggings included some pretty offensive material, like references to the KKK and swastikas. Chief Koval says so far it looks like most of the graffiti depicted obscene drawings and language. At this point, it's still not being classified as a hate crime, though Koval says even one example of a racial or ethnic slur is too much. This is hateful type of stuff, and if in fact we find out that any of this was purported towards people because of their identity for race or for religion, then we are going to bring all the gusto we can in making this being prosecuted as a hate crime enhancer as well. Police are still poring over forensic evidence in the case, taking a look at everything from security camera footage to Facebook comments. And also no one has been arrested yet, but Chief Koval says they're hopeful that will soon change thanks to some strong leads. They're asking anyone with information to call the Madison Area Crime Stoppers, Michelle. All right, hopefully someone will come forward. Thank you, Leah.